You know, one thing I want to touch on, and, and it always bothered me when you get some AA expert in there, or you know, your sponsor coming in and and, and, and correcting everything you say. You know, as if you know, I, I'm definitely, definitely would say that the program works. If you go with the program, it will work for you. There's no doubt about that. Um, but I invoke, you know, a little bit delicately, a statement that I once heard about the United Way and said, what benefit is it to resurrect the body if you destroy the soul and the purpose? They didn't see that element to it. They, they, they treated it, in fact, I think there was even a chapter in the book uh, that addressed people like me. And it sounded accurate. You think you're different. No, I didn't think I was different. I'm just saying there was different an anomalies that were going on here that everyone from the doctors to my friends recognized that could be key pieces to my success. And I just didn't like the whole, like, hey, you know, you know, these people are doing lots of drugs. You get really, really high. They get up to share and they say things like, I'm so glad I'm off drugs. And they tell these stories about how great life was on drugs, finishing it off with, but now I'm glad I'm off of them. It reeked of lies. And I thought the truth really had to be important. Keeping in mind the reason... I got kicked out of Wendy's. I didn't cheat on her or anything like that, or at least not with another female, was I had relapsed five times. First of all, just from a personal thing, I you know, I took drugs, so what can it be my defense? I've never had failure like that in my life, ever. I would have just quit doing drugs. Why? Because I failed to try to quit them. I mean, I'm not saying I'm Mr. Perfectionist. I'm the opposite. I'm that never-do-anything lazy guy. I, I, I don't care what it is. It can be fucking ba ballet. If I decide to do it, I, I can do it, and I do it great. For me to have failed that many times was a jolt to me on a level that I don't think even Wendy understood. And so when I took this last approach, um, I took it very differently than I, I just need to get clean. Clearly, clearly I had gone insane and, and she wanted me out of the house. There was no money. I was using all the money for drugs. And I knew at this point, after five times, dude, you have a, what is going to stop you from taking these pills? Access? Right. That's why you went to, to, to Monterey. But it was a disturbing thing. And looking back in retrospect, I'm not trying to invoke that that's what caused it. Um, yes, there was an element in my mind, although I wasn't even in that world or realm at the time, of I was fighting against something that was way bigger than just my mind not wanting to take drugs. I could control that, even if it meant suffering. Uh, I wouldn't say I felt like I was getting set up. In retrospect, no fucking doubt was I getting set up. And I've had that confirmed. Uh, at some point... It was very, very clear, no matter what I did, and I guess they have to go through the motions, I was never going back to L.A. The goal was to break up me and Wendy, and ironically, it was my best friends doing it for a better goal for me in the future. Very hard to admit that, even though I know it's true now, and very storybook, like, yeah, 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 the pieces come together, I don't have the time to lay them out for you. But I do want to emphasize this whole element of, this was very unusual that Don could not get off drugs. He's never, he's never relapsed like this, and these, these are synthetic drugs. He's done coke, he's done meth, he's done X. Daily, nightly, drinks every day. Quits drinking after a year of drinking every day and he doesn't even have a problem sleeping. These drugs make him go totally and say that he thinks he's going to die if he doesn't get them. And they're, they're pharmaceuticals. That became a huge part of my war plan, but it also came into my psyche of I've had to readjust at my age to the way I handle this because I've considered myself not just part of, but king of the drug culture. And apparently I had totally underestimated one element of it. And that was the one I liked the most, and that was the opiate pills which were synthetic. I always have people tell me, you're better off on heroin. Why? The withdrawals on the synthetic are worse because it's fake. And your body has an opiate receptor. It knows that. You know, but I settled down and, and things got, you know, pretty mellow and it's just funny, you know, looking back now because you don't, I, I wasn't thinking of it that way. I saw improvements. I saw that there really, really was a chance. I wasn't lying when I thought there was a chance. Wendy stuck by me 100%. This, this was entering the phase now where Wendy had to be bleeding and in, in, in just, just to, to be there to babysit me. And I was doing good. I was doing good. I was clean. I wasn't showing any signs. She could always read my signs. I was like, dude, it looks like he might relapse or he's not going to make it. He's complaining a lot. And I was positive. I was working out. You know how that goes. Um, and that was all through June. And that was all through July. And she came up and visited me. And I went down for my birthday. We were reconnecting. I was going to come back in September and try this. Go back and move home home, the place I said sarcastically, I'm never ever going to leave LA, I love this place so much, all my friends, all my jobs, all my dogs, everything, the guy at the 7-Eleven that gives me free stuff, who's from Pakistan, every street light, I knew it, how it worked, everything, I knew it, I knew everything, every bump on the road, everything, and it's just so amazing, it wasn't even like, want to move to a mansion, no, it was, you got no home, 
And that home had everything you wanted in it. You didn't just throw away a dream. You threw away your life, literally. Wow. But I was going to go home. But, I, I don't know. You know. Nature is nature, and something was still inside of me. That's all I can say. And, uh, yeah, this song was probably the number one song played on the radio. I uh, got my license to drive my parents' cars. And I was driving one of my parents' cars basically to the AA meetings. And um, all that shit. And uh, I was doing good, man. I was doing really good. I wasn't even having cravings. Some time under my belt, man. I'll make it. When I go back to LA and I'm to do some like martial arts stuff, I was like really thinking like that. Thinking like, you know, I'm a soldier that almost lost it in drug thing. I'm going to come out this awesome veteran. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. There was something so present about that place. Even your emotions have an echo in so much So accurate. Come on now, who do you, who do you, who do you, who do you think you are? had to stop your hands from grabbing pills, but ever since I was little, that's how it was. Ever since I, was little, like I should have just realized once again. And it's no coincidence I've come. Life and die when I'm done. I just never thought I'd be back here. Maybe I'm that was crazy. the thing too. And Wendy, I think that was her Maybe biggest concern. I'm, I'm never going back to that place again. Depression. Not drug withdrawal. You know, de depression. I, I don't have the energy anymore for depression. I. We talked about how great it was that I would never be back here again. And here I am. And she was going to leave. And I had to get clean in months and go back to LA and struggle there. But she hung it out with me. And you know what? I'm really a critical guy. Maybe things aren't going all that great even nowadays. I think she's very much misinterpreting. <laughs> For once, the genuine guy was trying to tell you some things, and it wasn't just thanks a lot for your help. There were a lot of things that arose, and there were a lot of questions I had trying to help my development, because once this spiritual realm of the hell I'd been through seemed to amplify an intuitive gift that I had, and that really probably could have helped me get out of everything easily. 